Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We're just headed out, it is so nice. It's cold, but it's sunny. I just finished cutting a bunch of grass. Sam does all the main grass with the rotting lawnmower, but then there's like all this little stuff that he can't do, so I haven't done this. I just did a different area. Let's go put Posey Pig down where she goes. Come on, Posey. It's actually warm enough that, come on. It's actually warm enough that uh, we can actually spend some time with Sophie's horse today. It's not pouring rain. So she's excited. She, I think she's going to share her with you guys. Been her choice this whole time. But filming in the rain is never a good choice. In you go. Come on, Ellie. Come on, Ellie. Look, she knows exactly where she wants to go. Come on. I'm not going in there. So, in goat news, our last baby goat is going to his home today. And that means that all the ones we have left are ours forever. I'm so sad that I didn't dig up this part of the garden. Just planted all my pumpkins in here. But I think I can still come out here and do it. Especially like while the ground is wet. I can pull up bunches of weeds and clean it out still. Even though my pumpkins are growing in there. <sighs> but with all this rain, there's so many weeds coming. Like this garden is going to be a mess. I should have done one of the many things that I like to do to keep it weedless. But anyways, my beans and my peas are coming. It just feels so good to have sun. Come on, Ellie Bear. Don't let me forget to show you guys my flowers before the end of this video. So, so I'm just gonna make the video. I don't know when it's gonna come up. Probably, it'll probably already be up. Introducing her horse and telling you guys all about her, like all the things about her that you need to know. And uh, we've been noticing though that her and Honey are the true friends. She always, she's like mothering Honey. Everyone she always befriends the little one. Sophie for sure thinks that she's had babies before. At least a baby. At least a baby. She's definitely had a baby. You can tell by her udder. But she mothers Honey like crazy. Honey is calling for her. Come here, Honey. I loved the goat experience. It's, they are kind of like puppies. You birth them, you breed them, you birth them, you take care of them for like two months and then they can go to their new home. And that, so it's like super fast compared to like other breeds. That worked really well for us because I wanted to make sure, because we had all boys. Girls are so much easier to sell. I wanted to make sure that all of our boys went to good homes before the winter. There's piggy down there so finding them all good homes was so important to me and I'm so glad that it was pretty fast and painless because sometimes you get boys and people just want them for meat and you definitely want to make sure that that doesn't happen this girl is definitely the last one to lose her coat but that's normal it takes a while for for minis especially like babies to lose their winter coat let's just get you all groomed okay look at you can see her dark coat coming in there it's underneath this one i like i like her being the darker color she really looks so mature from last year let me show you from behind that's her that's her two-year-old self she's super cute definitely a brat but she's really good she works really hard when Sophie works with her to like figure out what so she's doing really really well. I'm so proud of her. One of my friends got a baby a year before we got honey and basically we've been comparing notes so she's like a year ahead of us and according to her pictures and her notes and her records honey's right on track <laughs> doing all the same stuff. She's holding her own and she's the best friend of the new girl. Like the new girl and her are always together. I saw some comments where people said, oh, they're never going to show her. Um, but <laughs> we, have to, we have to show her when we're ready. Like we're not going to show her film in the pouring rain. And we're always going to do what's best for our family. It's not a sin. <laughs> we just share our day every day. And if that means that we video some things and we don't video some things and that's okay. There's so many things that you guys don't know about us and that we don't video that happen to us day by day. When we first started riding lady, when Sophie's first started riding lady, if you put your hand, she would try and gobble it up. She had no idea how to eat a treat. 
And now she's just sweet. I mean, she was sweet then. What? She's making like more streaks. Alright, so Sophie's. Yeah, I need to find where I'm going to put her bridal path and start doing that now. So I don't have to do it when her mane comes in. When her forelock comes in, Sophie's getting her all ready. <laughs> Did you see that? The pig, the pig, the pigs are so funny. Like, the thing that's so funny about Posey. The thing that's so funny is that they are so smart. They learn who's friendly and who's not friendly, and they remember it forever. Like, she doesn't really forget a single thing. Is there water in there? Um, no. Is it all frozen? Mm. Anyway, so she's just trying out Lady to see if Lady's friendly. Was Lady friendly to her when she first came? No. No. <laughs> She looks for Sophie wherever Sophie goes. Like, whenever Sophie disappears, she watches for her. She knows Sophie is hers. She knows that Sophie went out that door, and Sophie will be coming back in that door. <laughs> you are pretty cute. So, Sophie gives her mints, and she eats them. And then she gives her horse treats, and she spits them out. Well, she eats them sometimes. She eats them sometimes, but her favorite treat is... Mints. Mints. And then, she has such a funny nose. Her nose is so long. It's so me. long. Like right here, from here to here is so long. All right, Piggy's locked in here. Ellie's locked in here. They can both get out, so I don't know why that reassures me. All right, so. Are we doing the I mean, the light's not bad. All right. Let's go out there so she can eat. Okay. Let's see if Willow will let Sophie <laughs> catch her. Oh, it is glorious outside today. I am obsessed with sitting in this field. I wish you could take like a big chair, a lounge chair and leave it in your horse field. I would never do it because I'd be worried my horse would get hurt, but this is like the most glorious place to be. Once everything is said and done and everybody's happy and they finds their place in the herd, I think she'll be friends with Penny because Penny just wants to be left alone and she's kind of like that too. She wants, actually she's the opposite. She wants friends, but she's not mean. Unless she has to be. Unless she has to be. And also she will just let Penny do her thing and just leave Penny alone. Never move to a place that has a lot of hills if you're old. <laughs> Storm and Gracie are over there. They can go in this. Can they go in this field? Yeah, yep. So they're in this field too. And then we have this field right here. This little tiny field that separates them. He really wants to go with the herd, but they're fine together. They're not throwing fits, running all over the place. So for a couple more days, till they figure out their stuff, then you guys will move over. Look at all these poles though. Like what can we do with these? Like, we could make something with this. Firewood. Firewood, Sophie says. But I could do my garden in this. Hi. 
they're like, we want in. Well, if you were so, a lady. The, yeah, if you would be nice, you could just go in, but he goes crazy. And then, uh, honey, Gracie's fine. Uh, honey, or um, lady really likes Gracie too. She likes Gracie and honey. She's a pal, she likes Palominos. She's just like you, Sophie. Yeah. These are my peonies, you guys. They're my favorite flower of all time. And I love the light pink ones, but I really love these dark pink ones too. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I might even cut some. We have a ton of them around the property. I might even cut some and bring them inside. The only thing I don't like about peonies is that they attract a lot of bugs. Can you guys see? Bugs on everyone. Winston is so noisy. He's just like his mom. But you know who's not noisy? This little blonde boy. And he's the guy we're saying goodbye to. Look at his little belly! A bug just bit him. I saw it land on him. Here. Well, here, I'll help you. There's bugs all around you. Here, let me help you. Look at his belly! You guys, look at his belly! Do you see it? You are chunking out! He's chunking out because he's eating the grass. I just saw them. They were both sitting down. All three of them were down here eating the grass. But look, he's got a belly. Oh, you got a big belly too. Hi. Anyway, we're saying goodbye to this beautiful boy. He is really cute. Not this boy. He is really cute, but I can't just keep everyone. Every boy. And that means that we've sold all of our goats, you guys. All of our goats that we had to sell. Fast enough. <laughs> Not fast enough. <laughs> Sam led them. We did the switcheroo. We led the goats to this door. I came in the other door. But anyways, I've had comments made where people said our barn is dark or is dingy and gross. I love this barn, you guys. I own kind of do whatever I want. Sam and Gabby always have things to say about the horse barn. Like they don't let me kind of run it, but down here I get to run it. Anyways, lately it's been feeling a bit dark and dingy because all of our lights are burning out. Somebody told me that these lights only last for six months and it's basically... You can fix them, but... Basically, it's six months they've lasted. Oh, really? You know what? It's funny that they're guaranteed for like so many thousand hours, so... Well, six months. And then you return it because you get another one because... Well, return it then. Yeah. All the right. The problem is finding all the receipts and stuff. Well, if you buy them online, though, yeah. there's yeah. a, there's, it's easy. So uh, the other one that burnt out is this one. And I don't think, I, I don't think it's the light. I think it's the switch. This weird thing about this barn is that these lights come on and off randomly. Yeah. Oh, it was the lights. Oh, it feels so much better. Oh, and that one too. <laughs> All this time we've been living in dark. There's birds in here. They've made their mess. Yeah, the one in that stall. I'm thinking I might put the pigs in that stall because it's further from the door. This one? Yeah, that one. And the one in that stall. It works? Oh, good. What about in the stall? The stall is so dark. I don't know. I'd rather... We're not using that stall. I am going to use this stall. Do you only have one left? Yeah. My friend came for the first time ever last week to see the property and even he said like he loves this little barn. Oh my gosh, amazing. So my tack room has gotten overflown with stuff. I wanna take it all up there. If I go up there, will you hand it to me? All right, pass it up, dude. Oh. Oh. You doubted me? This one's just dirty. Here we go. I can organize my shelves now a little better. You're so cute. Do you guys know how there's like this feeling you get? When you look at something like, when sometimes when I look at certain chickens, I get this feeling. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I don't know. I guess maybe that's what my dream meant. When I look at little Ziggy, that's his name, I feel so much happiness. Like whenever I look at him, I feel peace inside myself and happiness inside myself. And watching him get used to these boys and him like becoming part of our family just makes me so happy. Because 
He's literally the cutest little thing. He's just tiny and so cute. You're just so cute. You're gonna be the king of the castle soon. Now the last thing I wanted to tell you guys about was my milking a journey. I wanted to update you guys. I apologize that everybody's out there crying. It's Blossom and her baby and Ziggy. So oh, about my milking journey, you guys know I've been sharing all along that I learned to milk the goats and um, we sold, we had three milking goats and I sold one of them with her baby so that her baby would have somebody with it when it went to its new home. And the one I sold was my biggest milker, but I had Tilly and Blossom and Blossom is so easy to milk. She's reliable. She gives me a nice amount of milk, not too much, not a lot, but a nice amount of milk. And I had Tilly and Tilly gave me a lot of milk. She had triplets. They're like, don't talk about the milk. <laughs> and I did my best with Tilly. Like I brought her out twice a day, put her in the stand and the whole entire time, the whole entire journey, she would kick and kick and bite and jump. And it was just frustrating for me and it was frustrating for her. And I still didn't give up. The time that um, I just kept thinking to myself, like she's gonna figure it out. She's gonna figure out that this is what we do and this is, it's gonna be okay. And she never did figure it out. And every other goat that I milked figured it out so much faster. So one day when I went to go in and get her out of her stall, she was looking at me and she stopped eating. She stopped eating in her stall because she was worried, waiting that I was gonna come and get her out and bring her to the milking stand. And then every time I would go into the, her stall to get her, she would stare at me with her eyes. Like she started getting terrified. And I just think like, she's not, it's not for her. And she doesn't enjoy being milked. Not that any of them enjoy it, but it's, too hard for me to destroy her spirit just because I want her milk. So I decided I'm not gonna milk Tilly anymore. I'm still gonna keep her. I'm still gonna keep her. I'm still gonna breed her next year because she makes really nice babies. I loved her babies. And I'm gonna breed her again this year at the end of this year. Uh, but I'm not gonna milk her. And I'm okay with that. So now I just have one milking goat until next season. But that is a wrap. We sold every single baby goat that we had on the farm. It was a really fun, fast season. I loved it. And I'm really excited to do goats again next year. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the